Hi, it's Catherine from In The Pink Designs. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Uh, my project for today is this box that is, it, after it's done, it comes to seven and three quarters by one inch by three quarter of an inch. And it holds this Lindor truffle bar. I see these all the time at the checkouts at the grocery store, Target, Walmart, and I believe I've seen them at Dollar Tree also. Okay, I used the, I even looked up how to say this paper, Twall Tidings. <laughs> I would have said toil, but it's tall. T-W-A-L-L -L is how you're supposed to pronounce it, and it's T-O-I-L-E. Twall Tidings Designer Series Paper. The Festive Corner Stamp Set, and this Christmas tree is from the Warm Hug Stamp Set. I used um, Banner's Pick a Punch and some Real Red Sheer Ribbon and some Cord from Wonder of the Season Ribbon Combo Pack. Okay, so this is the paper we're going to use. It is nine and a quarter by four, so you can get three out of each 12 by 12 piece of designer series paper. You can do it in cardstock also. But it really doesn't need to be that tough because it's not that much bigger than the actual bar. All right, so let's start the Simply Score. And on the nine and a half, is it nine and a half? Nope, nine and a quarter. I got to lob off a little bit. No, that's no good. I just have to take a quarter of an inch off. I started with it nine and a half, and I guess I cut the paper before I changed it. Okay. Alrighty, so now it's nine, oh, yeah, it's nine and a quarter. And we're gonna start with the nine and a quarter size side, and we're going to score at three quarters, and at eight and a half. Turn it to the four inch side, and we're going to score at one half, one and a half, two and a quarter, and three and a quarter. Okay. All right, so let's fold and burnish. And I'm going to do it on the red side this time. This paper is very nice. It has like a very vanilla background. And this is real red and garden green. Let me see if I have the whole thing. I have most of the paper. And it's like that old-fashioned Christmas, I'm trying to remember, Courier and Ives kind of looking things. And I believe some of these, uh, these animals, some of them are in one of the Sam sets that we have. Because I believe this was from last year too, the carryover. So now, with the half inch, this one's one inch, one side has one inch on the long side, and one side has a half inch, or, no, that's three quarters, I think. Yeah, three quarters on this side, half inch on that side. So put your half inch towards the right, and this is what we want to do, okay? So we're going to take off the top and bottom rectangle, and then everything over here, and just cut apart this. All right, so let's start down here and take off this rectangle and just wedge a little bit up on the long piece above it. And then we're going to keep the rectangle straight and the squares, we're going to wedge a little bit out. They're pretty close in size, but the one that looks more like a square, the smaller one, 
is the one we're going to wedge out. Okay, so that's the bottom. Now we're going to turn it 180. I know in one of my other <laughs> videos I said 360, but I meant 180. Okay, and now the skinnier strip is on the left-hand side, and we're going to get rid of this piece on top. Okay, now this is going to be our flap, so make sure that it's nice and straight over here and cut it nice and straight on that side. Alrighty. And then turn it a quarter turn and we're gonna take away everything on this side up to the flap. Okay? So there you go. I'll put it like this with the skinny strip on the left-hand side. So that's, whoop, on the right-hand side, sorry. So that's your skinny strip. This is a three quarter inch strip, okay? All right, now we need some tear and tape and we're gonna put it on the half inch strip as close to this line as we can get. over and fold this other side over to meet it. There we go. Okay. Now, this is going to be our front because this flap is going to fold down. So this one is where we're going to put our adhesive right here. Where did I put it? Oh, way. Okay. And I'm going to put that one close to the edge of the paper. Okay. And then we're going to put the sides in and the back and then close this on top. Alrighty. So now we're going to put our truffle in. All right, and we're going to push the edges and squeeze, push with our pointers and squeeze with our thumb and middle finger. And then just pop this over and just kind of shape it if it doesn't want to go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now you could glue it if you wanted to, but I'm going to put some ribbon through there in a little bit. All right, so that's the box part. Now we need a couple of different pieces for this part here. I cut a piece of very vanilla that is one half by three and a half inches. And that's what we're going to put our merry word on. Oh, goodness. Hopefully it's fine, I hope. <laughs> okay, and then this is garden green and it is five ace by three and five ace. And that's gonna go on top just like that. Okay, and then I did one piece of the real red foil paper that is five eighths by three and five eighths, which is the same size as the garden green. Okay, so I used the Merry Word from Festive Corners, and I'm going to do that in, I'm going to keep it in red again. All right, let me get a piece of scrap. My ink pads are very juicy, so I've been having a little problem. Okay. And I'm going to kind of center it oh, close to the middle. Excuse my head if it was in there. Yeah, I had a little something on that. Let's try this side. Erase it first. I might have to go and 
get another piece. You could also <laughs> stamp this on the edge and cut it out afterwards, which would probably be a smarter idea. Oh, goodness, I am just wrecking this. All right. Okay. All right, and then we need our banners pick a punch and we're leaving the top alone and we're going to stick the bottom to get it at the flag. I'm going to stick it in just make sure that it's centered and off it comes. And it's that piece and then the backing do the same thing. Oopsie. Just stick it in, and then, nope, that's the wrong side, almost. And then I'm just going to center it nicely and pop it off. And then this, a little bit of something on the top, will come out very nicely centered. Just like that, okay? Oh, that's the wrong side. There we go. All right, now for this piece here, I have, and this one I'm doing in red. I have a piece of very vanilla that is one half by three and a piece of real red that is five eighths by three and an eighth. Okay, and what we want to do is a stamp from Warm Hug stamp set, the Christmas trees. So I'm going to do the the um, the outline first. Then I'm going to stamp off for the inside of it. That's good. I missed a little down there, but I'm not going to be picky. That's pretty good. <laughs> All right. So this was Garden Green ink, and this was Real Red ink. All right, now we need this piece, which is, again, 5 eighths by 3 and an eighth. I just want to... Okay. And we're going to flag the bottom of our red foil paper. I have to say, I had this one and the, um, it's a, it's, it's a banners, it's a pick-a-punch that has like the, 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 um, scallopy kind of edges and the squared off edges. I get a lot more use out of this one. So if you were thinking, if you were torn between which one of those punches to get, the flag one, I believe is the better one, in my opinion. Okay. So now we're going to, I did get a fingerprint on this. Oh boy. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I'm so picky sometimes, but you know what? It is what it is. It's a little tiny fingerprint on there. Okay, so we're going to put that like that and let that dry a minute. Okay, now we need the hole punch and I'm just going to punch a hole. Oh, I made a mistake. Hold up. Oh. All right, I'll punch a hole in this. Okay. 
Okay, so we punched our hole in this. Now we're gonna work on this piece. And we're gonna use the opposite, the one that's uh, pointy. It's not a flag in, it's out. So I'm gonna do this on both sides, bottom and the top. I'm just going to flip it this way so I can see. Okay, and then do the same thing to this red piece. That is, if I didn't tell you, the red backing. This piece is one half by three. And this piece is five eighths by three and an eighth. Yeah, I'm confusing myself. Okay. And then we need our glue again. that dry a minute we're gonna work with this all right so since we pinched it and we folded this over now we need our hole punch again and we're gonna try to keep it a little bit to the top because I don't want to catch the candy wrapper top okay all righty that's good okay and we're gonna run some real red sheer ribbon through the top. I just cut a point in it so that I could kind of see it coming through the back. There we go. Okay. And then I tied a bow. Now you could just stick a clip on it on the top and then tie a bow and put a glue dot on it or glue it closed and just um, attach a bow. Just arranging my bow. Takes me a while some days. That one piece is sticking up so high right in the middle it's weird right okay there we go and I need my scissors okay and then I took some of the wonder of the season cord gold cord and I put on these two tags. And I just wound it around and tied a bow in the back. This is really giving me a hard time. All right. And then I just tied a bow in the back with the cord.
and we could put a glue dot to have it so that it stays like that, which I think I'm going to do. separate them how I want it. I'll put this right on there. And I'll just put them how I want them to fall. And there we go. Okay, now for the front strip that goes on there, I just centered that right in the middle of the box and I glued it on. It's not catching on today. There we go. Okay, and then I used some red rhinestone basic jewels. And I put one on the top of every Christmas tree. I have not heard anything about the Black Friday sale yet, but I will let you know when I do. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed this project. You can shop with me at the address at the top of the screen, katherinetiemann.stampinup.net. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the like button. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. I will see you next time. Bye.